Hello, my name is Kia Omegon, and I was born in New York City, raised in Detroit. And I make that distinction because even though those are two different places, I spent a lot of my life moving back and forth between both of those places. I identify as a Nigerian and African American woman. My father migrated to the United States from Nigeria, and my mom is African American. She was also born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. And I went to Michigan State University for undergrad, and I majored in elementary education. And I got into the field of education because, as I mentioned, I spent a lot of time moving back and forth between Detroit and New York, and also spending time with my family on the outskirts of Detroit in more suburban areas. And so very early in life, I learned that depending on how much money you have and depending on where you live, those things impact your education and the quality of education that you get. And I noticed that I live in Detroit, a community that is not necessarily you know, laden with a lot of money, and a lot of our educational experiences looked very different from my cousins or other people who grew up in the suburbs, and it, was, it, it, could, be a, it could have been a lot better. And so I decided that I wanted to become a teacher, which is why I majored in elementary education. And when I got to Michigan State University, I found that a lot of my courses, especially in the beginning, focused on like, you know, just understanding society. So a lot of social sociology courses, anthropology courses, and also just more so like the background of, um, you know, teaching. So understanding those theories. My concentration was language arts, even though it's elementary education. So I specifically focused on language arts. So I took a lot of English classes. So if you are interested in elementary education, depending on whether you focus on math or science or you know reading or whatever those different discipline areas are, you'll find that the courses that you take will somehow be connected to those different areas. And then as I moved through my um, undergraduate program and got closer to my senior year, I began to take more classes that were practical, more methods-based courses, so the how-to, how to teach reading to young students, how to teach writing to young students. And I found that those were my favorite classes because I just finally got to like, you know, I was learning everything and I finally got an opportunity to actually practice and, and kind of go out there. And when I think about how I was able to thrive in my major area, I would have to say the main thing that I did was kind of make myself known. I wanted my professors, I wanted everyone in my college, I wanted people across organizations um, within my college to know my name. Like if there was anything, you were going to know who Lakia Omegan was. And I did that by, you know, staying after class, talking to my professors, you know, sending emails, asking questions, even questions that I knew the answer to, just because I didn't want to be a number in a big pool. We had over 40,000 students at Michigan State, and I wanted to be more than a number. Um, and I knew that, you know, there would become a time where I would, you know, want to make sure that I could have these relationships for writing recommendation letters, which I still have a lot of those relationships now. And also making sure that I built relationships with my peers. So um, joining organizations that were part of my college in the College of Education. So that was a great way for me to thrive. And I would also say I sought out internships because, as I mentioned, I have a strong passion for making sure that kids in inner city and urban communities have a quality education. So a lot of my internships were going back to Detroit or going um, abroad. Like I spent time um, in Jamaica working with youth there and just really getting great experience, practical experience there, which was really, really, really important. And so um, if you are considering elementary education as a potential major or just the field of education in general, there's so many different trajectories, as I mentioned. But I would say if you are thinking about this major, you will be in a position to impact change in, at a society level. You will also be able to impact um a young person's life, multiple students. I think about when I taught in Harlem, New York, I had great relationships with my students and they would have so much going on in their lives at home and, and just in their personal lives. When they kind of came into my classroom, that was a great way for us to build relationships and for them to understand that, you know, through reading, through writing, that they could actually envision and, and, and see a, a life for themselves beyond what they were experiencing every day. So you really get to impact um, positive change and you get to be a leader in a sense. And so I think that that's really, really great. It's a great way to give back. And in terms of some, if I were to give some tips about how to just kind of navigate this whole uh, college thing or, or just with your major, I'm going to go back to that one point of this whole idea of really making yourself known. Again, I don't know, you know how many people are going to be on campus at your college, but you don't just want to be a number. You don't just want it to be like your student ID. You want to have like a personal touch. So building those relationships with professors building those relationships with your peers, seeking out internships. That's a great way to get experience, especially if it's paid. 
um, studying abroad. I studied abroad. That was a great way to one raise funds. I, I raised a lot of funds for my study abroad, and then to go and see how education was not just in you know um, urban America, but also to see that abroad. I found that you know, and I still have relationships with my professors who took me abroad, and even friends that I met while I was in South Africa when I when I studied abroad. So I would say build those relationships, internships, study abroad, join clubs, and if you are able to. Get a really strong advisor. My advisor, academic advisor, I hold her so near and dear to my heart today because she was the one that would tell me when the courses were available, which courses she thought would be a good fit based on my personality and all these other factors. So I would say, you know, just make sure, you know, if you have an advisor, you don't always have to stick with the one that you have. You could choose to change your advisor. So, so that's huge too. So those are the things I'll say again. Build relationships with your professors. Build great relationships with your peers. Study abroad. Um, join internships, join organizational clubs, and to have a, a good rapport, good relationship with your advisor. And like I said, if you don't really like that relationship or you're finding that it's not suiting your needs, advocate for yourself and ask to switch out. Now, even though I um, studied elementary education, it was not a walk in the park. I found that, as I mentioned, I'm Nigerian. So in, in Nigerian culture, at least with, with my father in particular, it's this idea that you should be a doctor, engineer, or lawyer. So when I told him that I wanted to study education, he was just like, what? Are you crazy? And so he wanted me to go for something that, you know, could make more money. So th those are some of the roadblocks that I experienced or people thinking that I would not make enough money. Um, but fast forward to today, you know, after I finished my undergraduate degree, I went on to do my master's and I actually just finished up my PhD and I'm currently in a university setting now. So it's a full circle moment. I am a university professor. I'm working with people who want to study education, helping them to become better teachers working with graduate students as well. So that's how I'm putting my degree to use and also doing that work online. So thank you so much for your time. All right, bye.